Uh, welcome back. Time for some cooking and Erica Drum is taking us to Italy tonight. Isn't that right, Erica? <laughs> yeah, I love the way you said an Italian cheesy bake. It's mainly about the aubergine, actually. So it's an okay. aubergine Italian dish. And it's really... That's why they were trying to get me excited by it, by well, saying cheese. I, I actually it. think I'm going to turn to you. You are going to enjoy this, I promise. It's kind of a dish, actually, for people who don't like aubergines. Don't think they like aubergines, maybe. Okay. Uh, but love cheese and tomato sauce and Italian-y kind of stuff. Um, it's my favourite thing, as, as you asked me earlier, I did get emotional. This is my death row dinner, this is my... Whoa. Yeah, I've said it, I know. Okay. Big Do you have a death row dinner one? Uh, <laughs> my mother's quiche. Okay. There we nice. go, yeah. Okay. Do you have one? Yeah, an all-you-can-eat buffet. There you go. Ah, I'm I'm I just cheese. wouldn't That's stop. Good. That's good. <laughs> Where do we start with this, Erica? I love that. Okay, so it's essentially a layered dish of grilled aubergine, tomato sauce, buffalo mozzarella, and then parmesan cheese, really important on top. Yes. So the aubergine, I'm going to cut the aubergine into discs. You could do it long ways if you want. I prefer the discs and you try and get them all in or around the same size. So we're going to make the aubergines fried before we layer them up in the dish. And that is because aubergines need to be cooked like that. They need the colour, they need the flavour. Sorry, I also have a tomato sauce on the go, but we'll do that in a sec. So essentially, the aubergines have to be fried or they can be baked at a really hot heat, but they definitely need colour before they go into the dish. Okay. So I like to brush my, this sounds weird, brush my aubergines with oil. If you put oil in your frying pan and then you layer your aubergines into that frying pan, literally any piece of aubergine that gets there before the other piece gets all that oil. It will literally take oh, the oil from all nice. over the frying pan. Okay. So I think it's really important to make sure that each bit of aubergine gets a nice little bit of oil. No, not too much. You could deep fry them if you want. I'm just trying to be... You know, there's yep, lots of cheese healthy. going in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're trying to be good in ways we can. So the oil will give it enough to get it nice and crisp, get a lovely An bit of colour. olive oil? Is that what you mean? Yeah. yeah. I always use a nice Italian olive oil. And then some salt or Spanish, but being an Italian dish, I suppose. So then you're going to fry it on the pan, kind of like the way I've done it here. Okay. So I've literally just watched it and turned it. You want that colour. It goes much skinnier. It's kind of juicy. Before they're yeah. cooked, they're kind of spongy. And the moisture. Yeah, and then you nearly think, God, they're greasy, but they're not, because you know how much a little oil has gone in there. And how long, like, is that going to That probably take? takes five minutes aside. Right. If you were to bake them in the oven, it's about 15 minutes. Okay. And just, if you think they're going to, you know, they're better to be overcooked than undercooked. A, right. a, a hard, undercooked aubergine yeah, is why people don't like okay. aubergine to get them right. soft, or yeah. parmigiana. Right, so my important part of this as well is the tomato sauce you can buy it of course and you know I always like to give if you're going to be cooking I love you cooking so if you think buying the sauce will make life easier do it so your favorite tomato sauce you can buy but I'm going to show you how I make mine really straightforward you know all the ingredients that are going in so I've got an onion there and you can see it's got a little bit of color mm -hmm. it's gone nearly kind of jammy yeah which is lovely that's just again a little bit of olive oil and then one of my favourite ingredients <laughs> is a knob or two of butter. Lovely. Yeah. And we're going to add, so before I let the onions get nice and soft with that little bit of colour, now I'm going to add the garlic. The garlic will burn much quicker if you put the garlic in with the onions. Yeah. So it's nicer to put it in after. Also kind of gives the garlic a little bit of a stronger flavour because it's cooked for less time than the onions. Okay. So the garlic's gone in. This is very optional, but I love a little bit of chilli. So I put in a few chilli flakes to give them a little bit of cooking on the bottom of the pan there. Again, if you wanted this really spicy at home, you could. Yeah. So this smells amazing. Don't Fried onions and garlic are just... Delicious. Yeah, they're just such a beautiful smell. Everyone always goes, oh, what's that? So I've got some balsamic vinegar. Kind of weird. This is how I make my tomato sauce, even for my bolognese. This is how oh, I make oh lovely, OK. So balsamic puffing up, a little bit of vinegar, kind of gives the acid, and then we've got, oh, it's gone right in my mouth. Then we've got some, <laughs> <laughs> then we've got some honey. Wow, <laughs> it tastes delicious, just so you know. Um, a little bit of black pepper, and there's also some salt gone in there. So okay. I give that a second. Let it all kind of get stuck and friends and have a good time, and in goes two cans or um, chopped tomatoes. You can use whole tomatoes, but crunch them up with your hands. I love this part of the um, dish having texture, so that's why I use chopped tomatoes. If you want, of course, you use uh, passata, which is the tomato puree. Are you puree. okay? You've got vinegar face. I've got Are vinegar face. You all right? You okay? <laughs> What's vinegar face? 
it. Your eyes are like, oh. When you eat too many salt and vinegar crisps and you get the it's last little bit at the bottom of the bag. It goes like that. We've got yeah. about two minutes here, Eric. Okay, brilliant. That's it, really. The sauce is made. I'm going to let that bubble. Imagine I am for, let's say, about 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Actually, if you want to let it bubble gently for an hour, it's really nice. Okay, it'll lovely. Accentuate the flavour. Actually, I should put this one here just to show you. Basically, what I do here now is I'll start to layer up. I've got my tomato sauce finished and I'll put it all along the side here and I'll do it in lines. I can turn that off now, but you'd leave it on and you just layer up your aubergines all the way along. You can oh, see I've right. started. Okay, because okay, I thought it was going to be like a lasagna sort of a layering situation. Well, you could. You could. I like to, this is like Instagram, right? <laughs> sorry, but sorry. But it's also for every bite you get an even yeah. kind of spread. You can see how much is going on. Gorgeous, fresh buffalo mozzarella is really key here. Absolutely delicious and traditional. And literally just keep layering it up and in it goes into the oven. Okay. So okay. what heat is your oven at? So my oven's quite hot, we're in. it's at about 200 degrees for about 20 minutes. Oh. You want it really bubbly now, wait, you see this? We're in heaven here, guys. Again, this is Erica's death row <laughs> meal. It is, so I'm actually really excited. I'm also just really recommend. excited to show and serve it to, you know, you guys hopefully will taste it. Humans. Humans. Um, so here it is, bubbling away. Looks delicious. And I have some gorgeous um, basil, which is just freshly sliced. It's really key with this dish to have it. But also part of the recipe is the Parmesan on top. Don't yeah. make this if you don't have Parmesan. I prefer to put raw Parmesan like this on top of where it actually melts, melts in. with melts the in. heat rather than it melting in the and oven. be generous with the Parmesan. Always. There's never too much <laughs> Parmesan in This is amazing. And of course, you can get this, all the ingredients on either Google Six Eats. It'll be on Erica's Instagram. I'll put it on mine as well. It looks absolutely delicious. Can't wait to try it. Thanks, Erica, thank you so much. Thank Pleasure. you. And that's all we've got time for. A big thank you to all of our guests and, of course, to Erica for the dinner. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow when we'll be chatting to singer Tommy Fleming. So stay safe and enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Bye. Bye-bye.